Welcome to this presentation. In this presentation, we shall see how to simplify exponents containing decimal numbers. So let's take a simple example. Let's say we have an example of this kind. 1.2 raised to the power of 3. 1.2 raised to the power of 3. In here, we will follow the steps as we have done in our previous presentations. Step number 1. In step number 1, we are going to identify the base term, we are going to identify the exponential term. In step number 2, we will apply the concept and then simplify this problem. In step number 1, we are going to recognize the base term as we said. The base term here is 1.2 and the exponential term here is 3. In step number 2, we will apply the concept. What is the concept telling us? The concept is telling us that the, the number of times the base term needs to be repeated is indicated to us in the exponential term. So let's write the problem one more time. 1.2 raised to the power of 3. So this is indicating to us that the base term, which is 1.2, will be repeated three times. 1.2 times 1.2 times 1.2. And then therefore, we're going to now take two numbers at a time. <clears throat> and then simplify the math. 1.2 times 1.2 is equal to 1.44 and we're going to take that and then multiply it to 1.2 which we have here on this side. So 1.44 times 1.2 is equal to 1.728 and therefore 1.2 raised to the power of 3 is equal to 1.728 as shown here. This is our answer. This is where we want to leave it. So if we have examples of this nature of decimal format, uh, we want to apply the concept. We want to be able to recognize the base term. We want to be able to recognize the exponential term. Using the concept, we're going to expand the numbers and then simplify the math and be able to get the answer. Let's look at another simple example. In this, this time, let us say we have uh, the base term with a negative sign, 1.2 raised to the power of 3. Let's say we have an example of this kind. In here, <coughs> step number 1, let's break it down into steps. Step number 1, we want to recognize the base term. We want to recognize the exponential term. The base term here is negative 1.2. Make sure that we recognize the negative sign uh, which is inside the parenthesis and therefore the base term will be negative 1.2 and the exponential term here is 3. In step number 2, we are going to apply the concept. And what is the concept telling us? The concept is telling us that the number of times the base term which, ne which needs to be repeated is indicated to us in the exponential term. So let us write the problem one more time, 1 1.2, negative 1 1.2 raised to the power of 3, and we're going to expand this one uh, three times, negative 1.2 times negative 1.2 times negative 1.2. As, as before, we're going to take two numbers at a time, we're going to simplify the math. Negative times negative is a positive, 1.2 times 1.2 is positive 1.44 and then we take that number and then multiply it to negative 1.2. Positive times negative is a negative. 1.44 times 1.2 is 1.728. This time the answer came out as a negative value. So therefore when we have a decimal number with a, with a negative sign attached to it and that is raised to an even uh, an odd exponential power, the answer is going to come out as a negative value. So therefore, one, negative 1 1.2 raised to the power of 3, the answer is negative 1.728 as shown here. Okay. Now, let's take another simple example. Let's say we have, let's say we have the negative sign outside of the parenthesis this time. 1.2 raised to the power of 3. Let's say we have an example of this kind and now we want to be able to simplify this. 
let's break it down into simple steps step number one we will identify the base term the base term here is 1.2 the negative sign is outside of the parenthesis therefore it will be it, it will not be part of the base term and the exponential term here is 3 in step number 2 we will apply the concept the number of times the base term needs to be repeated is indicated to us in the exponential term therefore let us write the problem one more time negative of 1.2 raised to the power of 3 we'll keep the negative sign outside but repeat the base term three times 1.2 times 1.2 times 1.2 therefore we'll keep the negative sign outside we'll take two numbers at a time and simplify the math 1.2 times 1.2 is 1.44 times 1.2 so we have the negative sign outside 1.44 times 1.2 is equal to negative 1.728 and therefore when we have a problem of this kind one negative of 1.2 raised to the power of 3 the answer is negative 1.728 as shown here okay this is how we simplify uh, exponents containing decimal numbers. In my next presentation, we shall see how to simplify exponents containing multiple decimal numbers.